día cuando ustedes se despiertan, siempre tenemos dos opciones. O dejamos que la vida nos controle o tomamos el control de la vida. You're never going to get rid of adversity. There's always going to be adversity in life. Everything that happened throughout my life, from the life in an orphanage of poverty to grow a company from being homeless to selling it with Garden Fresh for 231 million and traveling around the world and sharing this mindset with so many people. The biggest lesson that I learned is this. You must become bigger than yourself. How is that possible? It's mindset. Maggie Cook. When you talk about working for something that you truly care about, there's always three character traits present. Resilience, resourcefulness, and relentlessness. These are the three pillars of the success mindset. When I started my salsa business, I made a long list of stores to call and I got 90 rejections. And nobody knew what fresh salsa was, especially in West Virginia. <laughs> my friends told me that I should quit, that I should get a job. But I knew I had something special, so I kept moving forward. The biggest supermarket was on the top of my list and I was like, go big or go home. <laughs> And I called the Whole Foods Market because they were the largest organic retail in the United States. And I said, hey, my name is Maria Magdalena de la Cruz Cucarcia. I have an awesome pico de gallo de salsa. I think you guys lo would love it. Clank. <laughs> the next day they called me and they said, we want to know more about you. When can you come? Went to the kitchen, made salsa, drove like eight hours to Maryland from West Virginia. At that time, I was making about 250 pounds of salsa. Their first order was 10,000 pounds of salsa. And that was just Whole Foods. The ability to be resilient is so important and one of the characteristics of a resilient mind is self-belief. Do you believe in yourself enough? Do you believe in your products and services? When you believe in yourselves, other people start believing in you too. When I was growing up in the orphanage, I saw so much suffering. I remember I looked up to the skies and I said, I'm going to be something bigger than myself so that I can come out of this place and become an inspiration for other people and maybe perhaps being able to help and make a difference. The lack of resources, money, you know, everything that I had, I realized that all the resources that I had were within me. It was the creativity, the passion, the wanting to stick to it and to, no matter what. One of the most unbelievable stories I've ever heard. That was just so powerful. She has a natural ability, just the way she is to be an influencer in the most passionate of ways and she's just so authentic. Why do you care about being resilient, resourceful, and relentless? The answer is in the why. I had to go to the Small Business Administration and I asked them, hey, you know, I need help. I need 20 employees to help me. The next day, they had exactly 20 people for me. And I called the state and I said, hey, you sent me someone from prison. And they said, oh yeah, they're all from prison. <laughs> But they were the best working people I ever had. Why were they the best working people I ever had? Because I brought them to my greater why. It's about becoming and doing something bigger than yourself. You know, Mark Twain said that the two most important days of your life is the day that you were born and the day that you find out why. So one of the questions that I have for you is, how much do you care about your clients? If you were to cheer for your clients today, what, is, what would that look like? Ready? One, two, three. I want you to remember, to remember to look in your mirror every single morning when you wake up and have the names of the people that you're serving and cheer for them and ask yourself, are they really part of my family? How can I inspire them to believe in me? The moment that you believe that you have a limit to what you do, you become that limit. The moment you believe you can do more, you become that more. <laughs>